They come up, um, and then we have one, two, three, four, um, and then uh, I'll flag. Yeah, I don't know if this is working. I messed it up, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, so Stephanie, come up here, and the mic is working now. Yay! So, <laughs> I'm probably way too tall for it, can't tell you. <laughs> oh yeah, this is real low. Hi, how y'all doing? How we feeling? Hey. What's up? <laughs> Oh, that's much better. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, so I have two poems, if that's all right. That's cool with y'all? Okay. One's very short and one is not. Well, I mean, it's kind of short. So. You're not going to be here all night, so. Um, okay, the first one is called In the Dark. Oh, before I start, like all this. Um, the whole reason why I wanted to have my poetry reflect um, these subjects is because September is um, National Suicide Prevention Month, okay? It's an epidemic within um, the world, let alone America, from, uh, let's say, like, uh, I think it was World War II, um, it went up uh, to 33% more in the U.S. from World War II to 2017. And 2017 was a really bad year for me. <laughs> um, I struggled through a lot, and I was like, oh, that's so funny it was that year. Because I was like, ooh, I feel like everybody had a really bad year that year. It's just me? Okay, um, anyways. So, um, I mean, I think the best way that I had... Before I did therapy, I think poetry was my therapy. I'm an artist, I do like all different types of art, but the best way that I can figure out things in my head, if you know it doesn't make sense, um, it kind of just pours out of me. So this is gonna be like reflecting that. So um, get ready to cry, woohoo. Uh, <laughs> okay, in the dark. Sometimes, it all gets a bit too much. I feel like screaming on the top of my lungs, but all I do is try to hush the thoughts in my head. My mind runs wild, my heart beats faster trying to catch up. So much it becomes sore, sometimes I just don't want to be here anymore. There isn't a quick fix or a simple trick that makes my mind flip into the right direction. It just sits there and barely swallows the thought of how it hollows while it wallows all alone, shivering in the dark. Thank you. And the other one is called Scissors. This one's a bit longer. Okay. Life is full of moments, and even though there are many that are good, I seem to only remember the bad. And it sticks to me like glue. No, it's like paper mache. It's tacked onto my face to over and over, piling up further and further until I'm surrounded in this dark space, no room to move, claustrophobia sets in, I can't breathe. Suffocating in my own mind, all because I let one attach after one, it's hard to stop until I find scissors and cut myself free, finally being able to breathe once again, and the mold of my head was discarded below. Looking around, I see that there are thousands of them. <laughs> On the floor, noticing the one that I just let slip through my fingers, it is resting right next to the chair that I am sitting in, a landfill of paper mache head carcasses. The one to my left, I can remember was a week ago, and it plagues my mind, sticking onto my face once again. It's like I have no control over my hands, involuntarily they, involuntarily they know the pattern all too well. The room slowly begins to fade, and I'm in darkness yet again. A vicious cycle, chest heavy, throat closing, can't breathe, oh how I wish I could escape this. But my feet are chained to the chair, and, my, and the legs are bolted to the floor, and there is no escape from this. 
there is only dark and light and fade and dark again. My eyes are tired. My lungs are on fire. My hands are numb. Now, where are those scissors? Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Stephanie, um, being so vulnerable with us. I really appreciated that poem. Um, and for anybody um, that struggles with mental illness, maybe Stephanie would be a good person to like link up with. Um, yeah.